Okay, so to make him not jump that high or make him jump lower, you go into your viewport for your sentinel. You click on character movement, type in this in these details, jump, and change your velocity. So if I have this really high, 2000, I hit play, and I just shoot up into the sky. But if I have it really low, like at 400, then it's a little bit better. I Something that you should do as well is change the default camera, because honestly the default camera angle is really bad. So just change this and then you can just test it, see what it looks like. That, that's horrible. Now you don't want that. Put it lower. That's a little bit better. Oh, one thing I didn't show is make sure you have a default player start in here. Or else your character will fall out of the map every time. So just make sure to have that. Got our jump. And we're going to do one more thing with this jump that I just thought of. So, when this is pressed, we're going to check. We're going to do a, a branch, actually. So, we're going to make a branch. And, move that. Our condition is going to be get can run. Is uh, sorry, get is running. So if this is true, I don't want him to jump. So if he's sprinting, he can't jump. If it's true, sprinting can jump. If it's false, uh, what's I'm doing here? If it's true. Hold on. Let's test this. Yeah, I can't jump when he's just standing still, but if I'm running, I can jump. That's what I wanted. So, you have to run and jump. Although this isn't... You don't really have to add that. I just like to add it. You will notice some glitches if you just spam the jump button. It just kind of breaks the game. I'm not sure... How to, well, actually, it doesn't really break it. He just constantly does the jump animation. So, never mind. So, we got the jumping. On to the next step. If you didn't catch something, here's the bit of code. Just add a comment. Jump. File. Save. And see you with the bad guy.